Hi everyone and welcome to Potix Tech Lightning. Today I will be diving into an issue that might sound familiar if you work with virtual machines in Azure. One of my clients, they were dealing with random DNS timeouts for their Windows virtual machines, which happened just often enough for them to cause frustration. It took a while to track down, but we finally found the root of the problem, an often overlooked limitation in Azure virtual networks. Thankfully, the solution is simple and I'll walk you through it step by step. So let's get started. Here we go. To set the stage, let's look at the specific issue my client encountered. They have a fleet of Windows VMs running in Azure, and every so often, their application would throw a connection timeout or they would experience a delay. These timeouts, they were rare, but disruptive enough that they couldn't just ignore them. After capturing logs and running tests over a couple of weeks, they finally noticed something interesting. It was specifically their DNS requests which were timing out. This led us to investigate further into Azure's virtual network setup. Azure virtual networks, they have certain restrictions that can catch you off guard. But once you know what to look for, the fixes are actually quite simple. So if we look at the Microsoft virtual network FAC, they have quite some good information listed. Under the header, what protocols can I use in virtual network? There's an important line at the end. UDP source port 65330 is reserved for the host. This means you cannot use this UDP port for any traffic. It might not seem like a big deal, but it does have important implications. Performing a DNS lookup is done on destination port 53. The DNS request always goes out to the destination DNS server on port 53. So far, so good, right? Whenever a connection is established to a destination port, 53 in this case, the client also sends a source port with it. The source port is the port which the server used to respond back to the client. The server does not contact the client back on port 53, but uses the high port specified. This source port is picked from a range of high port, also known as ephemeral ports. The default UDP high port range for Windows is between 49152 through 65535. In our case, the client sends a DNS request on the destination port 53 using a high port as the source port. It happens that one out of roughly every 16,000 requests will use port 65330 as source. The DNS server responds back on the source port and whenever it's 65330, the connection will fail and cause a timeout. Now, Let's see this in action on a virtual machine using Wireshark. I'll start the DNS query to get an internet host and capture the details. Here we see the request and the response on the capture of the whole flow in Wireshark. In the first connection, you will see the source IP of my virtual machine along with the destination server of the DNS one. Looking into the protocol, we can see a source port coming from the high port range with that destination port of 53. On the reply from the DNS server, you will see that it's using this high port as destination port to send the response back to the client. And once in a while, this source port will be 65330 and the response will subsequently be blocked. How can we solve it? Well, on Windows, you can disable the ability for Windows to use this specific port to initiate network related requests. You did this, do this with the command netsh int ipv4 add excluded port range UDP 65330 one persistent hit enter and we get a polite OK back. And we can view this status with the next command net sh int ipv4 show excluded port range UDP. And that's it folks. Azure virtual networks, they're powerful, but knowing their quirks can save you a lot of trouble. So keep this in mind next time you're troubleshooting any connectivity issues, always look at DNS first. Until next time, take care. See ya.